Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, very excited to be in front of the room today and get a chance to share with you guys a little bit about uh, what been going on in our mind. I guess um, so. I got notes again. I'm sure I keep myself on track. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, my journey in Primerica, I've learned uh, many, many valuable concepts. And one of the concepts that I learned here is that, you know, business is very unpredictable. You know, and a lot of things will go outside of what you plan. So, you know, understanding that is, has helped me to manage a lot of my expectations. And I always say this, that the thing I learned in Primerica also helped me with my life outside of Primerica. And this is very true because if you guys know us, we run another business outside of here. And the things that we learned here have helped us, like, apply those things to our food truck business. And, um, you know, when, but when I first started working with Primerica, I didn't have any business experience. So, when I hit adversity, immediately my mind will go toward negativity. Things like, you know, um, oh, this is too hard, it's not for me, the job is probably not that bad, I kind of like my job, I was going to do my job, you know, uh, maybe it's not cut out for me. And, um, you know, a lot of people, is, some people are happy to work in the job. They are. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, even if you're happy working the job, even if you love your job, even if you make good money at your job, I believe you give up two of the most important thing in life when you work a job. That's control and freedom. Right? And um, I just want to share with you guys a little story about my stepmom. So my dad decided to get remarried at the age of 55. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know, his, his wife came over to the United States. She started working at the MGM in a restaurant there. She loved her job, guys. So she was making good enough money. She loved her boss. Every year she get four week vacation to go back to Vietnam. And the boss even give her a bonus right before she go on vacation. She still have everything about that job. But guess what? October 1st, this year, laid off. Mm. Mm. Everything she loved about it is gone. All because the owner of the business could not come to a contractual agreement with MGM to renew the lease. Mm. So now everybody's laid off, right? Um, and just remember this, guys. You know, when we invest our time to come here on a Saturday morning and on a Monday, that's our choice. We willingly come in. You know, we're learning to how we're learning the mindset and the skill set to regain back control in our life, right? And then when we apply those skill set to things that we do on a day, weekly basis, like setting up appointment, going on appointment. Now we're building for freedom. So in order for you to gain back control and gain freedom, you have to change, right? Um, and I remember Shaq say this, and I love what he what he said. He said the worst day at your business still be the best day at a job, mm -hmm. right? So with that being said, I'm gonna pass the ball over to my wife. She's uh, my beautiful wife, one of a kind. The one and only. Good morning, guys. So Peter was right. Husband is always right. I needed my laptop because I'm not gonna show for you guys. But I'm just gonna have the slides up. I'll just talk. Um, so you guys can look at me and not the slides, okay? <laughs> uh, if I can get the treat. <laughs> if I can get it up. Okay, so let me get here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna get it up. Or if Thomas Thomas, can I use your laptop? Is that it? Just I send it to you. So I'm going to be talking today about the intention of duplication. I'll make it a little bit quick. Um, so last month we did 10 by 10 as a team. Um, if you guys keep track of the telegram, you probably noticed the last 7,000 really happened the last two days of the month. Right? So we were really flat uh, throughout most of the month. We were at around 3,200 for the month in premium. Um, and we were like, you know, at this point, Shaq always talks about month end. Right? We decided there's two reasons why we want to fight for month end. One, we wanted to set an example for the team. We wanted our team to know if you set a goal, you're going to at least fight until the last second to hit that goal. And you're not just going to lay flat and try again next month. Also, two, the reason is because of Shaq. Right? Shaq is such an amazing leader. He poured so much into us already that we felt like we have to at least, for his sake and his leadership, to fight for him to reach his goals as a team as well. Um, and we couldn't just be like, hey, we're just going to try again next month. Sorry, coach. Right? So we fought till the last second there. And that's how we got to our 10,000. Um, and re really thinking about that, um, I, 
was thinking, you know, Pi America is such a great business, but it's also a team sport, right? It's also about the team. So when you think about the team, I was thinking, hey, you know, we really wanted to be intentional with duplicating that, uh, with duplicating ourselves and the best version of ourselves as well. So the questions we ask ourselves uh, when we think about duplication is one, do I want my team to do the same thing I'm doing, right? If no, then I probably should be doing it. The second question is, would my team be able to do the same thing? If the answer is no, then I should probably simplify it. And then also, if I have 20, 50 people doing the same thing I'm doing, right, is, am I gonna have a successful business? If the answer is no, then I should probably systemize it. And right? so these are a few things that we wanna duplicate. The first thing is high numbers, inviting to opportunity meetings on Wednesdays and Saturdays. This is something that's really big on our team is we know that when you come into the office, we're gonna have a block set of time, whether it's three hours, of just mainly inviting to the opportunity meetings uh, because everything really starts from there. And then setting appointments, going on appointments. That's all the business is, is going on these appointments. Right? Every front end activity we do really leads to setting appointments on going on appointments. So that's something that if everyone on our team is able to duplicate that, um, great things are gonna happen. And then also closing. Uh, you guys know mainly all of my trainings are on questions I ask. Um, also when I'm field training my, uh, my team, I also tell them, write down every single question you see, hear me ask, right? So because I want them to know and be tactful in closing and being able to close with the questions they ask. And then also fast start meetings, getting a list and onboarding. This is something that's really, really important. Our team has been doing an amazing job at that. Um, if you look at Anne, right, she's able to do a fast start meeting. Every single time, she'll at least set two appointments and two invites to opportunity meetings. It never fails, right? Roslyn is able to go and sit down with somebody. They can tell her, I don't know anyone. Um, you know, I'm new to the area. And she's able to get a list of 30 or more names and numbers wow. and go on appointments there, right? Hi has also been great at this. He's able to set appointments, go on appointments, close live sales as well, right? So. Um, this is something that we're, we really want to duplicate throughout the team as well. Uh, showing up to trainings and staying after trainings. This is something that's important too. We, me and Peter, we always show up to trainings. We know, we know life happens, right? Everyone has problems, everyone is busy. Life happens, problems happen, but we show up to every single training. Uh, we leave the problems at home, uh, literally, our kids. <laughs> right, but, um, and then, you know, we show up to trainings and we stay after, we huddle, we plan out the week. Um, also, looking nice, acting nice, feeling nice, right? If you look good, you feel good, right? I don't think you're going to catch me and Peter not dressed up. I think every single morning when we go to Starbucks, it never fails. Somebody asks us, are you guys going to a wedding? Right? Yeah. And I'm like, no, we're not. But we want to look good. We want to represent ourselves well. This is something that's important to us and our team. Um, our team knows too, we're gonna dress up, we're gonna look nice, we're gonna take a team picture. If you're not dressed nice, next week you're gonna see that they're gonna be dressed nice. All right? And then also, uh, daytime activity in the office. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys do at home, but I know what I do at home. And so, you know, we want our team to come into the office, do daytime activity together, and then, of course, month end. Um, we want, throughout the team, everyone to know how big of a deal month end is. Uh, to fight to, for your goal till the last whistle. Um, and this is something that everybody on your team really did the last week. Now, just because you plan to doesn't mean you're gonna hit your goal, right? And really fought for it. Uh, we did hit on the premium side month and uh, I really fought for it as well, did hit. Everyone rescheduled, everyone wasn't available. But then, you know, come this month around, the first day I, you know, got an app, the second day I got an app, and was able to close the three apps as well, all because of the follow-up they did the week before, right? Now, if we didn't do that, if we didn't strive to close for month end, we'd probably still be fighting to get an appointment with those people and chasing those people as well. Uh, so, kind of in conclusion, you know, I, I think the business is just so much fun, but it's just so much better when you have a team to do it with as well. Uh, so, uh, that, was, that was last month. Hopefully this month we'll have a better month. Yeah.